Hey guys, like I mentioned in the previous video, this series turned out to be a really, really, really long one, so I'm editing the main video into three three different parts. Uh, this is going to be the 66 up until 72 and including 72 maps portion of the video. If you feel like, uh, you know, this isn't necessarily your thing, you know this, you want to be interested in the in the higher maps, I still recommend you watch it simply because there's a lot of small tips that have worked for me personally. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of people tend to disregard the 66 maps when in all reality uh, it is the most, most important portion of building up your base and uh, really efficient mapping. So again, I highly recommend you uh, you watch, you get through this video. I know it's a little bit long like the other ones, but uh, you know, it needs to be done. So hope you guys enjoyed this one and yeah, have fun. Crypt map, not a good map. I don't recommend running it. Typical uh, chisel recipe material, don't recommend it because there are a lot of 66 maps that are just so much better. 66 maps in general, this is where it all begins. This is where it all starts. Uh, people tend to farm docks to level 70. You should never be doing that if you have 66 maps available to you, such as Dried Lake. Dried Lake is an open map, very, very good, uh, a lot of mobs, the density tends to be extreme, uh, rolls like pack size are amazing, but I wouldn't be rolling pretty much any of the 66 maps because they're just so easy to come by as the requirement for the map increases, the, uh, you know, the maps drop fewer and fewer, uh, fewer, fewer and fewer, but obviously if you've got a 70 map, there's a bigger chance of dropping, you know, other lower maps, so you can go off of that kind of sub. So people uh, like to build up a base, so to say. So let's, for instance, say they get to level 70 maps, and then they only they like heavily over level on 70 maps, just so they never go below 70 maps. Uh, some people just run their highest maps and try and do it that way after a certain certain part of the game. I tend to do that recently. I used to build up a base too, but now I tend to run my highest maps and this is kind of dependent on the league which I'm go gonna go over as well. But uh, yeah. So okay, Crypt, not very good. Like I said, Dried Lake, very good map. Uh, like explained, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, mobs are pretty much double because of the crabs, great mob density, amazing map. Dunes, Pretty much same thing, very, very easy to uh, come around, no dead ends, uh, very, very simple map with a lot of mobs. Dungeon, you know, <laughs> chisel recipe material. Grottos are kind of difficult. Grottos used to be one of the best maps in my opinion, when it used to be a circle, but sadly that was changed and now there's a lot of dead ends. So while I wouldn't use it for a chisel recipe and sometimes you might run a grotto, um, I would probably at this point in the game keep them because if you vendor three grottos uh, I believe it's here somewhere you get a mountain ledge which is an amazing map so that's what I typically do with them orchard is chisel recipe you would never do it never do the boss the mob density sucks everything's bad about that map pretty much the same as overgrown ruin uh, you can run overgrown ruins but it's just a dungeons dried lakes and the tropical islands are just so good, it's uncomparable. Uh, as for the unique map, Coward's Trial, uh, highly recommended, great mob density, drops a unique at the end. If you have a Coward's Trial, try and run it as fast as possible, pretty much. If you want to level up your gems, also do it, because it's just such an amazing map. Uh, tropical Island, like said incredibly straightforward map that's really what we're looking for it's wide enough so that the pack size is just so huge uh, great for map drops great for everything obviously the more the mobs there are the higher the chance we get uh, some sort of map not every single mob type has uh, the same amount of quantity on it so to say because mobs have percent quantity on them so let's say certain mobs drop an item 4% of the time and golems for instance drop 12. I don't know if these numbers are accurate but just as an example. And uh, yeah, humanoids tend to drop a lot, that's why dunes is so good. And then uh, Trop Island has monkeys which just the sheer amount of them makes it so that it's good. 
Uh, arcade, uh, I don't really recommend running Arcade, it's a pretty crappy map. Uh, Arsenal, probably the worst map in the game, I don't recommend it, lots of dead ends, easy to get lost. Uh, very random layouts, terrible, terrible map. Cemetery, open map, kind of up to you if you if you can run it. I would recommend it if you don't have a map pool. Cemeteries are the maps to run. Maelstrom of Chaos is a rarity map which uh, you end up fighting Mervo in, and uh, it's a pretty dangerous map. Uh, you don't really run it for EXP, you only run it for items, but you can also sell it, so it's kind of up to you. Uh, it's personal personal taste, you can see the map bots here. It uh, can be difficult, but yeah, I mean you'd run this in a group anyway, right, so we don't care too much. Mountain Ledge, uh, probably, uh, maybe Thicket is the best one, but Mountain Ledge is a very straightforward map. Uh, it's basically like a ledge, you go around the perimeter and then uh, through, through the middle uh, very straightforward, typically very good uh, mobs, although stuff like pack size rolled on it doesn't really shine. But again, you really shouldn't be shouldn't be rolling these maps. Sewer, I like this map, but it's not very good. The map drops tend to be good, but the EXP not so much. So Sewer is kind of a map that if you need maps, you run it, but just because the mobs drop, the, the base implicit mobs drop a lot of a lot of maps, but uh, you don't really get a lot of XP. It's very, very random, but you, even if you get a lot of XP, like you get a lot of mobs, you tend to end up in uh, dead ends a lot. So it's problematic. Thicket, uh, if you know how to run it, very straightforward map. Uh, not a lot of dead ends, and if there are, they're very short. The mob density is amazing. Stuff like pack size really, really shines on this map. Uh, Wharf map. Again, it's like a docks. It's like a docks endless rage, uh, endless ledge. Very, very good map. Highly recommended. Very straightforward. Uh, a lot of potential for map drops. Uh, the mob density is kind of random, but uh, expect good things out of it. Uh, okay, first 68 map ghetto. Ghettos, ghettos are okay simply because there aren't a lot of good 68 maps. So this is 68 maps are in general just kind of. You do you do what you want. Uh, Mod Geyser. I like Mod Geyser, but it's a kind of a, it can, it can be a rippy map around 68, especially in a new league, just because the implicit mobs tend to be uh, undead, Roas, you know that kind of stuff, necromancers. So it can really slow you down, and it can actually kill you. The Roas can be very dangerous depending on the league that you're playing in. Um, so might not be worth the risk for a newer character, but if you feel safe, then yeah. I like museums, don't do the boss, very rippy boss, highly don't recommend it. I'll try and mention the uh, rippy bosses and I think museum is the first one. The museum boss you pretty much never do unless you've got like a crazy character but uh, or you've been getting lucky in the past. I mean I've done I've done museum boss dozens of time of times and then I saw one of my friends just get one shot like that with way better defense than me and I was just like okay I'm never gonna do this again. But uh, yeah, the map itself is not bad. Dead ends happen, but it's not it's not terrible. We don't like I said, we don't really have a lot of options when it comes to 68s. Uh, six uh, reef is very straightforward to run, but uh, the mob density tends to be terrible, and the implicit mobs are actually underground. They're underwater, so you need to find them. So that makes it really really bad, and they're only in packs of five or maybe six. Um, so it's an okay map, but not the best. Spider Lair map. I actually like Spider Lair a lot just because of the mob density. Again, pack size really, really shines in this map in my opinion. And uh, yeah, there are dead ends, but you should be, it should be pretty straightforward uh, if you know how to run it. Kind of like Thicket uh, for 67s. Springs, probably the best map simply because it has uh, humanoids in it. Humano humanoids tend to be very good for map drops. So I, I typically run uh, Springs on 68s, but eh. in general, if you've got a map base somewhat and you're leveling another character, you should be avoiding 67s and 68s and just go with 66s until you get to like 71s and stuff. Uh, unless you've got an unlimited amount of mountain ledges and I don't know. <laughs> all all those, those, those best maps. 
Uh, Vaults of Aziri, I mean, not a not a map for EXP, there's no mobs. Acton's Nightmare, again, another rarity map. Catacombs. Catacombs is, again, another one of those very straightforward maps, if you know how to run it. It's basically a circle, but there is some some thinking to it. Uh, I think the implicit mobs are necros, so if you can deal with necros well, I would recommend it. But if you can't, it's it's average. I tend to run catacombs, but again, it's kind of up to you. All of Grandmasters, we don't care about that. Overgrown Shrine, I like this map because of the mob density, but it's not a very good map for uh, map drops. Promenade map. Uh, this is around the time where I start actually rolling my my uh, my maps. I start uh, not necessarily chiseling them and not necessarily using sacrifice pieces because still the map drops are quite high at this point. I would say below 70 maps and including 70 maps the map drops. You don't really need to roll anything. You just kind of need to run enough of them to uh, have a map base. And I mean at the beginning of the league if you don't want to farm at Ziri. Uh, if you don't want to farm piety, you're going to end up running a lot of these maps anyway. So you don't really care about the fact that you have to be over leveled for them, you know, because other people are running piety anyway. So you're kind of going to have the advantage still. Well, piety is somewhat okay for EXP. It's still not better than the map, even though the level difference is not that high. So promenade and shore. Shore is probably one of the best maps in the entire game. It's basically like an improved dunes. It tends to gra uh, to have underground mobs, but it seems like the underground mobs don't even affect the mobs that are on the ground. So you have all these dunes-like mobs on the ground and then all these underground mobs too. It's one of the best maps. I highly recommend you you roll this with pack size or magic monsters or maybe even Alkit. Uh, I think that it's worth it. Promenade. Uh, promenade is pretty much the same. The statues give a lot of value and they don't really count as implicit mobs. So uh, you can, you know, some people were doing uh, some achievements on Promenade, like getting the kill streaks on on the last league. You know, going upwards of 800 mobs and such. Uh, so tremendous amounts of mobs, high map drop potential. Very very good map. Um, so these you should be definitely rolling at level 69. Very, very crucial map. Pretty much every shore you get, you just have to roll the shit out of because it's just so good. Spider Forest map. I like this map, uh, but it's very, very random. Sometimes the mob density is great, sometimes not so much. Tunnel is a horrific map. Unless you're built specifically, you're playing something that benefits greatly from this. Like, I don't know, like... I don't even want to say ball landing because it gets stuck on so, stuck on walls like RF, pretty much straight up RF. This map can be very good, but there's a lot of dead ends, and in general, it's just a very very frustrating map. Very huge, lots of dead ends. The uh, mobs are so spread out over this humongous pattern; it's almost never worth it. All right, <clears throat> these are 70 maps. 70 maps you can really consider rolling. At a certain point, I feel like if your character is you're restarting, you know, you're getting to level 80, 82, and you can't get past level 70 maps, like level 80, and you see that you're climbing, but you're not really getting anything more than level 70 maps, you're not getting any luck. This is probably where I would start rolling pretty much every single map, even though most of them are crap. Well, most of them. Some of them are crap. Actually, no, there's only one really crap 70 map. But okay, this is this is that point, in my opinion, uh, and what I do. Bog map, a uh, decent map. It's just a humongous zone. You go on the outer rim, and then it's kind of difficult to uh, track the mobs in the middle. But it's a decent, it's a, it's a decent map. Coves, uh, the boss is great and can be kind of rippy with certain map mods, but uh, especially since he takes you by surprise, he can be placed anywhere on the map. But a decent map as well. Uh, tends to have a lot of necros and roas, but I'm sure you can your character can manage it. Uh, graveyard map is pretty much like a cemetery, except uh, avoid the boss at all uh, at all costs because uh, currently there is a bug where. I don't know how relevant this is going to be to you later on, but currently there is a bug and it's been around for a long time where the Merivale boss in a graveyard actually is swapped out with the uh, Necrop Necropolis uh, 
Merivo, so this boss tends to one shot people, you know, freeze them to death if you don't have uh, you know, those quick logout skills, you might just be taken by surprise and die. Uh, Pier is like an evolved version of Worf and yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much identical, uh, very good map other than the boss, it's yeah, the boss is like uh, I believe is the it's the chaos spitter. But not a not a big problem. He tends to deal a lot of damage. You're probably gonna lose more than fifty percent of your life just because it's chaos uh, with one shot. But it has a big cooldown, so as, as long as you pot, you should be completely fine. Underground C map. This is a uh, very controversial map because to some it's amazing, to some it's terrible. I really like this map just because of how straightforward it is. Uh, but rolling it doesn't really seem to do much. Getting blue mobs on it, like on a uh, on a gorge, uh, seems to be very good. But again, it's very very random. It's uh, the implicit mobs are random. The uh, pack size is random. This is kind of a you know hit or miss kind of a map. But I would I would still recommend rolling it. I like it. Probably my favorite 70 map, and. Uh, but yeah, don't you know? Don't expect too much out of it. Uh, Villa is a total garbage map. Definitely the worst 70 map, if not one of the worst in the entire map arsenal. Jesus, there's so many of them. Okay, so I think you really should never be running villas, even though it's a 70 map. I sometimes even use the chisel recipe with them because they're so bad. And uh, later on in the league, just nobody wants to buy them anyway. Uh, this is a zero. We don't worry about that. Arachnid's Nest. Arachnid's Nest is uh, kind of an improved version of uh, where's that map? Spider Lair, uh, but it has a lot better mob density. And I think it's when it comes to just mob density and map drops and everything, I think that it's the best 71 map from my experience. But it might not be. Uh, colonnade and dry woods are still pretty good as well, but I think Arachnid's Nest, even though it has a couple small dead ends, it maybe is the best 71 map, and this is probably the time, if you're really desperate for maps, this is probably the time where you start using sacrifice pieces and chiseling maps, if you're in a competitive scenario where you actually want to beat other people. If not, you should still be kind of kind of okay and hopefully you got enough maps from promenades and shorts to sustain your kind of map pool kind of uh, kind of exp right colonnade very straightforward map uh, i like it not much to say the boss is kind of rippy uh, it's cool so be careful about the boss with certain blue mobs it can be dangerous but uh, just because of how straightforward it is i like running these maps but it's not it's not the best of maps. Dry Woods is... it can be very random as well, but I like it. Uh, it can be very frustrating because you have to look for mobs in the middle, so that's that's you know that's kind of a problem. It's kind of up to you uh, whether or not you want to run these. And uh, we've got a Strand. Strand is kind of like Gorge that I'm going to talk about later. Um, because of how straightforward it is, it's incredibly good. The mob density tends to be amazing. Rolling pack size or magic monsters on it makes it just mind-blowingly good. But you have to look for mobs uh, sometimes because they're, the implicit mobs are underground. But typically there's a water side and land side and the underground mobs are on the water side. So you sh shouldn't have too many problems finding it. Just kind of try and zigzag. But yeah. Uh, to many people, one of the best maps in the game. Uh, I think it's really fun to run. I think that the EXP is really good, but I haven't had much luck with the with the map drops in it. And Temple is kind of a map you disregard. The boss is incredibly rippy. Never get near uh, near the boss if you don't have a prep character. If you don't know what you're doing, it's piety. It's very very scary. She deals. Some people say more damage than a 77 piety uh, out of a shrine, so be really careful with that. Uh, I lost it. Be really careful with that, and in general the mobs are ribbons and stuff, which is... I think ribbons are on par with tentacles. It's just terrible. Terrible EXP. And... Uh, yeah. Terrible map drops. It never drops maps for me. 
Jungle Volley map. I like this map a lot just because 72 maps tend to be really, really garbage. Um, but don't do the boss. Incredibly rippy boss. Don't recommend it. You will probably die unless your character is heavily overgeared or overleveled. Uh, Labyrinth of Boss, pretty much same thing except it's not a good map at all. I think that it's one of the worst maps and it has one of the worst bosses that will probably one-shot you. Um, and the layout of the map is kind of like a tunnel orchard where the mobs are already spread out. It's a humongous layout and you're just getting lost and lost and lost and lost. Very, very bad map. Uh, mind map, you get lost a lot, but I, I tend to uh, find pretty good map drops out of this, so I'm typically happy if I find a, a mine. Uh, I think this is this is one of the uh, stronger 72s, but just because 72s are so weak. right? Torch chamber map, um, very rippy boss if you don't know what you're doing. It has a strategy to it, you can maybe look up some guides, but yeah. Uh, a lot of dead ends, uh, mobs tend to be kind of bad. Uh, the mob density is actually all right, but I wouldn't I wouldn't go overboard with uh, rolling a torch chamber map. Uh, Waste pool is a very rippy map altogether, just because the implicit mobs are chaos alchemists, so it tends to be very 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 rippy. But I feel like if you want to get invested into 72s. Um, this is this is the map to do it. The mob density tends to be really good. I would even uh, chisel waste pools. I would even use sacrifice pieces on waste pools, uh, just because of how good it is. But obviously, this is dependent on the rest of your map pool. This is dependent on whether or not this is your highest map. Again, there's a lot that goes into it, and if you can run it with difficult map mods, if you can run it blue with pack size, you know it's still fine. Don't worry about it too much. This map we don't worry about. Uh,